afternoon lads and lassies welcome back to the channel welcome to Bangkok welcome to Dong Muang I'm not at the airport but I'm in a hotel right next to the airport because tomorrow we're taking the kids and me one big extra kid to Dreamworld it's meant to be a buzzing theme park with some smashing rides so yeah we can't wait for that so this evening well now we're gonna go and get on a bar bus and we're gonna we're gonna go to some market we was gonna go to chatter chat market but it's like 45 minutes away and i can't be bothered to be honest what's this market called we're going to not listening what's this market called yeah. what's this market we're going to uh, Seb one gold market. Okay. Seb one. Huh? Seb one. Seb one. Go. Go. Uh. So that's the gaff we're staying at. Dong Moang Hotel. Actually, decent price. We've got a massive family room. Well, we won't say massive, but we've got a big room. It fits five people. And we've got two nights for. 2500 baht that's cheap that isn't it two adults two children and a baby i think that's a decent price very very decent price in fact apparently you can't get a bar bus to the market which is actually called save one market that was just the way she, she was telling me it's called it save one save one so we'll try to book a bolt but you can't get a ball in Bangkok. Well, I can't in Don Moang. It's proper busy. Right, we've sacked ball off. He's, this guy here has just pulled up at the hotel. So we've managed to uh, ask him to put the meter on and he said, yeah. So that's not too bad, is it? Something like three baht a minute or something. All right, market time. See you when we get there. Okay, now this is a comedy sketch. It doesn't fit in the boot because of the gas tank. Now it's going in the front seat and there's four of us in the back crammed in like sardines <laughs> well we're going to try anyway right well I'm here Bangkok save one go market I've just looked on Google and it says it's the largest flea market in the north. But I'm not sure about that because I thought it was Chatter Chat Market was the biggest in the north with over 10,000 stalls. But we'll go and have a look, okay. That taxi ride was actually cheaper than Bolt. 109 baht on the meter. And that was with a 43 baht start. So that was alright, wasn't it? I bet if my missus weren't here, he wouldn't have um, he wouldn't have put the meter on. I can see already there's no way that this is bigger than Chakuchak, Chakuchak, even though I've never been there either, but I'm looking at the area now and not a chance. I'll try and show you. I could be wrong though and um, I might have missed half of the market off but what I can see it's not that big as of yet stay tuned I won't even hear two minutes and I've lost them already that might not be a bad thing to be honest all I'm seeing is food stalls I thought a flea market was everything everything you can think of but this is just food unless that's the bit they're setting up there as well but um, Right, the food, oh it smells terrific, maybe that's, maybe I need to um, fill my stomach. I'm looking for them, I've no idea where they've gone. It's not in a bad setting to be honest as well. Whatever that building is there. Right, 
Half of these stalls aren't even open yet. I say it's only been open five minutes. Well, you'd think they'd come at three and set up an hour early, wouldn't you? That'd be my method anyway. Bit of a funny story, well, not so funny. So as soon as we got here, we had to go and buy a pram. Because somehow, between the house this morning and getting off for the bus at the airport, it had broke. It wouldn't push it, it wouldn't push in and open up. I must have been messing around for 45 minutes in the airport. Absolutely, the head was flipping. So that wasn't a great start to the day. Wandering around fucking Rangsit stroke Dong Mohan for a pram shop. Okay now, that was two and a half thousand baht as well. And it's, honest to God. The buggy was up in the garden this morning. And then it wouldn't go back up after it was flattened. Well, I've just rang them. And they said they're right at the beginning. Where we came in. Well, I can't see them. I'm gonna go for this. Light chi, I'll get tea, 30 baht. One please. Okay. Thank you. It's not bad, is it? 30 baht, 70 pence for a light chi refreshment. Gone for chicken biryani boys, 50 baht. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> mm, look at this, boys. A delicious biryani right in the heart of Bangkok. Thailand. Mm. I saw all that behind me was all the food stuff. This is the flea market. I'll tell you what, I ain't staying long. Absolutely baking. Five o'clock and it's baking. Sweat pouring off us. The little lad looks like he's been swimming. They're going to that chuck a chuck. Jack a Jack Market next, 20 minutes away, 15 baht on the BTS but I'm going to take the little lad home and get some aircon, maybe have a sleep because I'm knackered, been awake since 3.30 this morning. It's not called a night market for nothing, <laughs> there's, there's not even a lot to show you here, half of them are still setting up. That's a good excuse for me to go home, I think. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm binning it off. There's nothing, nothing to show yet, whatsoever. Oh well, maybe next time I'll learn my lesson and come at night time. Right boys, I'm going to sack it off. Bit of a, probably a bit of a crappy video that, so I do apologise, but um, I was too early. 
too early for the night market all right boys give it a thumbs up a share and subscribe if you want to i wouldn't <laughs> i shouldn't really say that should i all right see you in the next one over and out